Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with my Hobonichi planner and my DEK Hobonichi planner kit, as well as a set of the gorgeous Hobonichi date dots. So I'm excited, let's play. Okay, so I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is Sunday, National Scrapbook Day or International Scrapbook Day weekend. You can see I've got nothing done this weekend here. <laughs> been a crazy week so oh, I'm keeping it real you're gonna I will go back and put some things down I did have some running lists on my phone um, and again you know your planner if you don't get it planned here's the deal if you're using it like record keeping then just go back and add it in it's not a big deal it's okay um, it really is and give yourself grace right now you know with so much going on you just really need to give yourself grace and I hate to tell you I'm just doing it I missed one week. I'm not going to feel badly about it. Um, I will go back in, like I said, and just record things for the sake of posterity, for the sake of just having it, having it for, you know, future reference. So I'm just going to leave that off, actually. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. It has been um, a weird weekend here. Um, we may or may not have internet. We'll see. Um, I'm videoing this with a camera, so we're good. <laughs> But um, we definitely lost our internet, and they're upgrading again. So, um, we are not thrilled with T-Mobile. Um, this is almost like every other month, it feels like, and I think we're pretty doggone close to that. So, um, we've, already talking to, we've already spoken to a supervisor. We literally had to drive three towns over to get cell service, and even then, it was sketchy. And, um, you know, I just told them, I said, we had to make literally over a dozen phone calls to get in and they kept breaking, you know, kept dropping and the whole thing. And it, and it wasn't even in that area. It was just, I, I guess their systems are so flooded, but they don't notify us. They don't, you know, uh, if we happen to call, we happen to find out. But, um, yeah, it just, the only reason, and we were kind of knowing it was coming, was the only reason it was a real problem was we had flooding. And our kids kept trying to get a hold of us, and occasionally we could get a text out, and occasionally we could get a text in, and occasionally we could get, like, a messenger message in. And I don't know about y'all, but, yeah, that didn't set well. And so, um, you know, we work online. These are business accounts. Our phone system, these are business accounts, and we work from home. So, anyways, um, I've told my husband from the get-go that we should have never had T-Mobile. <laughs> I did not want it. Um, and within a very short time, I wanted Verizon. And I don't, I mean, we've bought all these expensive phones, so we are hosed. And, you know... I don't know how many times you have to upgrade the tower, but I think, you know, many months worth, we've uh, kind of said, hey, this doesn't work. You know, you're not even notifying us when we're not going to have, you know, unless we happen to call in. So, anyways, um, in the Central Texas area, I highly recommend not T-Mobile. <laughs> we have, we have been really patient, so... Anyways, but I was able to go and upload in a town over, at least for DEK today, um, and I'm so thankful for that. And I did not, I was supposed to take a class all weekend, didn't get the class. That's the reason I knew. And then um, oh, I had a whole bunch of stuff to put up for our classes, um, private classes, and it just, it we couldn't even get that done. And just really disappointed, so... It's a very expensive proposition for us to change phone companies, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do. And um, my husband's outside mowing. He's upset. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not good. But um, it, is a, it is a difficult situation. That's for sure. I mean, we were literally in front of the grocery store in a town three towns over, and we couldn't even use the text. So I'm um, not sure what's going on, you know. But, oh, I'm sorry. Am I out of the way? Sorry. So, it just keeps us humble. Keeps us, you know, having to focus on what's what's working, what's not. You know, we just have to deal with that. So, I will keep that focus. Glass is half full. We have a level of service right now. Our daughter has finals tomorrow, which is all her studying is online. 
So you can imagine how this has made her massively stressed out, poor thing. And she's been so sweet about it. And yeah, it's just not good. So yeah, I don't know what to say, but just, uh, we're keeping humbled. <laughs> okay. I'm going to quit confetching now. <laughs> Was that enough? Oh goodness. Just pray for us. It's, you know, because we've had some other issues, things like this tend to cause major tail spins and yeah. So, um, yeah, but we're hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. Whew. Not, not, uh, sure what the scoop is, but at some point, I guess we'll get it figured out. All right. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that pink. I think it is so pretty. I love this. I really do love this kit. I hope you guys do too. I think it is beautiful. I really do. I've always, I've been to DC but I didn't get, and I was there at spring, but we didn't get to see the um, cherry blossoms. And uh, I wish I could, you know, could go and see them, but I don't know if that'll ever happen again. Um, you know, and that's okay. Um, oh, what is that movie uh, that Tom Cruise, you know, Last Samurai, the cherry blossoms, I don't know, something. They're all in bloom or they're perfect or whatever. I can't remember. If you guys remember that line, put it in the bottom. That is such an interesting movie. It's kind of graphic um, as far as like, because there's war scenes and things. So you have to be aware of that. Um, so, you know, and then there's some, you know, some rough scenes in the beginning when he's struggling. But, um, but he talks, the gentleman talks about cherry blossoms and oh, goodness gracious. How beautiful are the cherry blossoms? Seriously. So... But one day, maybe, we'll see. We, when we lived outside of Boston, we had kind of hoped, we had planned a trip to take our kids to, to D.C. I had literally bought all the school materials, and I was going to have them study, and then um, things changed, and we came home. And um, it was when all the dot-coms were crashing, so we came home. And, um, yeah, I mean, home... Home was home, and that was one of the things when I asked my husband, where's home for you? <laughs> what do you consider? He's like, Texas. So, and he recently um, graciously talked about, you know, my parents and, oh, goodness, just how much he was loved by them, and he was. He was incredibly loved by them, and um, they were essentially parents to him. They, yeah, they were an encouragement in his life. And, um, yeah, all the things that I was thinking I was seeing, you know, that's all kind of come out now. So it's been a rough road, you know, as you go through life and as you get older. And I think it really helps when you, sorry, my husband's mowing right beside us now. <laughs> but I think as you have your own children, you begin to see things that maybe, you know, you didn't want to see, you know, you didn't want to believe. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just how some things are sometimes. And, what can you do to make it better in your own life, in your own family? So I am so sorry. That is so loud. Um, he knows I'm videoing. But then again, that's what he does. <laughs> he forgets. I, but he also has earbuds in, so he has no clue to how loud he is. Except for that he wears ear, ear, ear plugs or whatever you call them. <laughs> he clearly knows it's somewhat loud. <laughs> So, anyways, okay, I'm going to put my gross, my groceries, my menu over here. I love these checklists. This is what I use them for. I always use them for the menu. I think I'm going to change it up this week. Let's go on, I don't know. Let's go up here. Okay, let me see if there's any blanks that can be headers. Hold on. This one's a little bit harder to see because, because, okay, that's perfect. So, I think I'm going to put that there. But, um, yeah, we're just trying to get everything figured out. Trying to get everything done. And our property, for everybody who reached out, we are doing fine. We got a little bit of water in the basement, but nothing major. And um, if my husband hadn't been so proactively running pumps, we would not have had that. It would have been... A big problem and um, and we've been there before we've got our basement flood and so 
you know. Um, so I'm very thankful. He's very proactive on the pumps and he helps keep everything under control and that helps so much. So, okay, so I've got three, six, nine, twelve. I'm gonna put one more and then I'm going, well, 12 is pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with that and then I'm just gonna put my two to the side like I always do. And these are for our snacks. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's spraying bug spray. Phew. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm not a proponent for bug spray. I do everything with essential oils. He is not the same guy. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways. All right. So I'm going to put one of these up here for snacks. Let me label those really quickly so I won't forget. But he uses heavy duty bug spray, which he's already sprayed twice. So I'm thinking he's not going to last long. The mosquitoes are huge, and they are tons of them since just rain over the weekend. I tell you what, it is crazy. <laughs> so, we'll see how long he lasts out there. Ooh, it is bad. So, anyways, but, I mean, it could be much worse, right? Sorry to be so loud. If I was too loud a minute ago, I apologize. Um, I just can't tell when the mower's right there outside the door. <laughs> so, but I hope you guys, now talking about National Scrapbook Day, if you didn't do something for National Scrapbook Day, like work on your memory albums, your journals, your photo albums, scrapbooks, might I encourage you the month of May to focus on that. And... You may be saying, but why? Well, just like not filling in here, this is a kind of journal in a sense. If you haven't um, recognized in your planners, I remember the first time I used a full-blown like day timer. I was an administrator of a school and I worked for two attorneys and I just had to take copious notes all the time. I mean, all the time. So, Oh, I guess I only have one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh, that's interesting. Usually we have seven, but that's, oh, no, we do. Silly me. I just didn't see it. So um, I recognized after, because we also kept journals in the office from, you know, to my, ad, my, my admin and I back and forth. And one of the things that has been a lifesaver and what taught me very early on was taking copious notes in life. You know, marking things down, keeping a record of everything was huge. I mean, I'm not kidding, huge. Um, like I said, I work for two attorneys. So you better dot your T's and, you know, and dot your I's and cross your T's, so to speak. Um, if you boo-booed, woohoo! I mean, it was a big deal. Um, you better have, you know, <laughs> have documented everything. And so I learned very quickly that I was not, I was going to document everything. And when I finished that job, a year later, I still have that planner in the other room. Um, it was our daughter's first year of life, our oldest daughter's. Um, it was, um, we moved for the first time away from South Texas. Um, there was just lots of information in that. And... I'm so glad I took, I did that. I really am. It was kind of a, a labor of <laughs> some sort, but um, we ended up having somebody make a false claim and um, through the school after I resigned. And of course, immediately everybody was like, no, that's not true. You know, <laughs> you know how those kind of conversations go. Like, no, they're lying. <laughs> so, but because I had kept copious notes, I felt okay about it, you know, and I just want to say there is something to, you know, keeping your journey recorded. I mean, there really is, and I just can't say it enough that it's your journey. It's no one else's. Nobody else is going to take notes for you. Nobody else is going to take pictures for you. You know what I mean? So keeping a planner, there's a lot to it that you can benefit from. And, you know, and this may be your record keeping and how great is that? So anyways, just, to, just my two cents. So for the month of May, I highly recommend 
you um, keeping a journal. I really, really do. Um, and maybe, maybe it's just getting pictures in an album or keeping pictures in a, you know, putting pictures in a, in a planner. Um, there's all kinds of options that you can do. And I mean, I just think it is one of the best tools. I'm so sorry about that mower. One of the best tools around and it's, it's dual function. You can carry it with you or not, you know? So yeah, I mean, I think that's real. It, it to me has turned out to be such a great, great tool for me. So I'm trying to see where I want to put these. I think I'm just going to put this up here and then this right here. So I'm going to put my top two priorities, <laughs> which are a big deal. <laughs> and I'm going to come back here and put Tuesday. Let me turn this Wednesday and Thursday. Those are my Josephine design days. And then um, I have one more banner and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I may just put it down. I've got these little bitty ones too. So I'm going to put this out. These little ones I'm going to put on here for my garden. And I don't know about y'all, but making sure we get back out there now. I, we just got some plants today because we had to go three towns over to get internet and phone service. And I, I'm going to plant plants. <laughs> so that's Monday. If the mosquitoes aren't too bad, but I will still wear my, my spray. And then Friday, I'll do the same thing. And then we're in, we have not been able to do tax work due to, we can't even use our tax software because we need internet. So you can imagine, yeah, pretty stressful. So, and I think I'll put something here on Sunday to go out. And then Saturday, I'm gonna put the big, the big, big, big heart. And maybe I'll put it down here, tax work. That's what.